Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump officials scared for their lives after being tracked down and told what they must do to Trump. Representative Maxine Waters, CAD, must be incredibly proud of her accomplishments, as her divisive cries for mob-like attacks and disruption against members of the Trump administration have apparently been heated. Waters told the crowd at a Keep Families Together rally, if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. The left is clearly taking her advice, as once again a member of the Trump administration was simply trying to eat a meal and minding his own business. A woman chose to confront EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt at a restaurant in Washington, D.C., on Monday. This is the most recent encounter in a series of harassment instigated by leftist progressive activists and a Trump administration official while in public. According to Facebook, the activist who chose to publicly accost Prude is Kristen Mink, formerly Kristen Hoven, and a professed supporter of two times failed presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton and a teacher at Sidwell Friends School. It is notable that Sidwell Friends is considered the Harvard of Washington's private schools and educated Sasha and Malia Obama, as well as Chelsea Clinton among other children of Washington elites. A self-described feminist and nasty woman, Mink's Facebook page is a veritable ode to leftist progressive ideologies. A supporter of climate change, abortion, Black Lives Matter, as well as open borders and the abolition of ICE, Mink has dedicated her social media profile as a veritable shrine to her efforts to impeach the current sitting president, Donald Trump. In one post, Mink laments the color of her own child's skin stating she is ashamed and citing his white privilege as she does not fear he may someday de at the hands of police officers due to his skin color. Mink chose to accost Prout while eating out in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday evening with her young son in tow. She approached Pruitt's table and began berating him and urging him to resign. The 33-year-old resident of Silver Springs, Maryland was dining with her husband Ryan three tables over the Teasum restaurant just four blocks from his office at the EPA's headquarters. When her husband pointed Pruitt out to her, she stated to the New York Post her initial reaction was he's the worst. She then made the decision to confront him. While holding a notepad of prepared remarks, she sputtered out an introduction with her young son on her hip. The heavily tattooed mink began reading to Pruitt from her prepared remarks, as her husband recorded the entire debacle. Mink stated, Hi, um, I just wanted to urge you to resign because of what you're doing to the environment, this is my son, he loves animals, he loves clean air. He loves clean water, we deserve to have someone at the EPA who actually does protect our environment, someone who actually does believe in climate change and actually takes it seriously for the benefit of all of us, including our children, so I would urge you to resign before your scandals push you out. The video ends shortly after Mink finished stumbling rent at Pruitt and then Mink claims Pruitt left the restaurant before she returned to her seat. It has been mind-boggling watching the left come to the conclusion that it is rational and socially acceptable to harass politicians they do not like in public. Throughout the exchange, Pruitt can be seen calmly looking at her, paying attention to what she is saying, though he says nothing throughout the exchange he did thank her when she was finished and Mink was allowed to speak freely. He literally said nothing, she told the Post. He had no response, he had no defense, he had no apology, he did no explaining, he did no denying. Mink then posted the video on Facebook and Twitter where it subsequently went viral. The Post reports Dash. Pruitt's spokesman claimed he didn't leave because of Mink, and he also thanked her after she was done. Administrator Pruitt always welcomes input from Americans, whether they agree or disagree with the decisions being made at EPA. This is evident by him listening to her comments and going on to thank her, which is not shown in the video, EPA spokesman Lincoln Ferguson told The Post. His leaving had nothing to do with the confrontation, he had simply finished his meal and needed to get back to the EPA for a briefing. Pruitt's plate was covered in napkins, a sign that he had finished his meal, during the encounter. She told the Post she's been protesting the Trump administration, including getting arrested at the Hart Senate office building last week over the policy to separate parents and children at the U.S. southern border. This wasn't planned or organized, I literally just saw him and said you are the man who is ruining the future, for the children. For the next generation, Mink said, explaining she did what she did not as an activist but as a mom and citizen. Pruitt's name has been added to a quickly expanding list of Trump administration officials that have been publicly accosted, heckled, taunted, and asked to leave restaurants in the Washington, D.C. area. Recently, 
White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was famously turned away from the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia by its owner last month, and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen was infamously heckled by a group of self-professed socialist protesters who loudly interrupted her dinner at a local Mexican restaurant. Trump aide Stephen Miller was also accused of being a fascist at a Mexican restaurant in the D.C. area. In response, Sanders is now actively receiving Secret Service protection, the first press secretary ever to do so. This also comes on the heels of threats against members of the Trump family and administration and their families, no one was spared as even children have been threatened with rape and kidnapping. It begs to ask the question, now that these confrontations have become trendy largely at the urging of radical leftist politicians like Waters, just how long will it be before they cross the line into outright assault or even death, and unlike with Rep. Steve Scalise, LAR, they may be successful this time. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.